I've been a parent for more than 20 years now, and one of the biggest regrets of my life is that I did not spend enough time with my wife and children during the, f the first few years. I had a very good excuse, actually. I was the sole breadwinner, and I had to work very hard to provide for my family. Add to that the fact that while we built our home in the province, my job was in the city, which required significant amounts of commuting time. You know, at its worst, you know, um, I would leave the house tulog pa ang mga anak ko. And then, makakauwi ako, tulog na ang mga anak ko. It was that bad. I was just fortunate that I was given the opportunity to make up for lost time before it was too late. Some families, however, are not that fortunate. The lack of family time has resulted in many broken families. We have to ask ourselves, and we need to answer honestly, how much time do you spend with your family? Do you think you're spending enough time with them? If you're a full-time dad or mom, good for you. You're giving the best part of your time to your family. If you have a family business and your work is very close to your home, oh, you have the best of both worlds. You can spend your time with your family even while working. Now, of course, it can get ugly when the usual work pressures get mixed up with relationship complications. But, well, at least you have enough time to kiss and make up, right? But if you're working full time, I understand your struggle. You wish you had more time, but work often leaves you with not enough time and energy to spend with your family. And yet, you need to press on. If you're an overseas worker, your situation is much more challenging. You get to be home only once a year, maybe even once in two or three years. Uh, you make do with online video calls as often as you can, and you know it's not quite nearly enough. Some people say love is spelled T-I-M-E. And of course, a very good way to express love for the people we love is to spend time with them. If you've lost so much time, don't do so. But you need to focus on how you can recover lost time. You have to figure out how you can redeem the time you have available and rechannel them to spend with family. Listen to how God commanded the people of Israel just as they were emerging out of Egypt to form a new nation. Notice the importance given to the family in handing what's most important to them, God's commandments, from one generation to the next. This is what it said. And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise. This involves spending time with family it means taking as much opportunity to interact and relate with them and teach them what they need to know about God and life. So I say to you, spend time with your family. Carve up time as much as you can to spend with them. Spend time with your spouse. Build memories together. Spend time with your kids, especially while they're still small. I tell you, they grow up too fast. You don't want to miss out on the joy of being present in their lives. Spend time with your parents. You don't want to miss the wisdom of your parents at a time when they have so much to share with, your, with you about life. Remember, as you spend time with your family, faith matters too.